Sister Wives star Christine Brown has been infatuated with her new husband David Woolley. However, her children whom she shares with her ex-husband do not want to accept him. After Christine and Cody split in November of 2021, it seems as though people think Christine could be moving too fast. Do you think her daughters will ever accept David? Does Christine Brown still love Cody Brown? Cody and Christine Brown have a lot of history. They share children and once were a big happy family with her other sister wives. When the couple split in 2021, it seemed Christine moved on fairly quickly. According to the U.S. Sun, an insider revealed Christine may still be in love with her ex. Fans were shocked to hear this after seeing how toxic Cody can be, especially since he will not let Christine leave the show. Bad blood in the family. Christine's daughters Aspen and Isabel had a conversation before the wedding of Christine and David. Aspen revealed that she does not want to refer to David as her stepdad and would prefer to refer to him as her mom's husband. Isabel then added that they can say he is just family. The inside source also revealed why the girls do not want to get attached to David. Viewers can't necessarily blame the girls for being suspicious of the relationship. They have never known anything other than their father Cody Brown. Will Christine's daughters feel different once the couple is together longer? Christine Brown and David Woolley seem to be very happy and viewers are excited to see their future together. Many fans think Cody was toxic to Christine and hope she can live a happy life without him. Do you agree with her daughters? Do you think the couple will last? Sound off in the comments below. Christine Brown, a resilient and spirited woman, had faced her fair share of challenges in life. Widowed at a young age, she found solace in raising her two daughters, Emily and Olivia, on her own. As time marched on, she discovered love again in the arms of a kind and caring man named Richard. However, the introduction of a new stepdad into the family dynamic was proving to be more challenging than Christine had anticipated. The initial excitement of blending two families had quickly given way to a brewing storm of emotions, particularly from Emily and Olivia, who found it difficult to accept Richard as a father figure in their lives. The journey toward acceptance was not a linear one, but rather a roller coaster of highs and lows, leaving Christine in the delicate position of fostering harmony within her family. As the sun dipped below the horizon, casting a warm glow across Christine's cozy living room. The atmosphere within the family was tense. Richard, eager to bridge the gap and create a sense of unity, found himself caught in a whirlwind of conflicting emotions. He had earnestly tried to connect with Emily and Olivia, engaging in activities they enjoyed and being a supportive presence, but the walls of resistance remained intact. Emily, the older of the two sisters at 16, was grappling with the fear of losing the unique bond she shared with her late father. The mere thought of replacing him with another man, no matter how well-intentioned, felt like a betrayal. She withdrew into a shell of silence, often escaping into the sanctuary of her room, where memories of her father lingered like echoes from the past. Olivia, the spirited 13-year-old, exhibited her discontent more overtly. Her rebellion took the form of sarcastic comments, eye rolls, and an unyielding refusal to acknowledge Richard's attempts at bonding. She couldn't comprehend why her mother was so eager to usher a stranger into their lives, disrupting the equilibrium they had maintained for years. Christine, torn between the love for her daughters and the desire to build a future with Richard, found herself walking on a tightrope. She understood the complexities of the situation, recognizing that time and patience were essential ingredients in this delicate recipe for familial harmony. The challenge lay not only in assuaging her daughter's fears, but also in helping them see Richard as an addition rather than a replacement. In her quest for a solution, Christine decided to embark on a journey of open communication. She initiated a family meeting, creating a safe space for everyone to express their feelings without judgment. The living room, 
once a battleground of unspoken tension, became a forum for vulnerability and understanding. As the conversation unfolded, Emily hesitantly voiced her concerns about losing the connection with her late father. Tears welled up in her eyes as she recounted cherished memories, afraid that by embracing Richard, she might erase the precious moments she held onto so dearly. Christine, empathetic in understanding, reassured Emily that embracing a new chapter did not mean abandoning the old one. Richard, in a moment of raw honesty, shared his own experiences. Olivia, on the other hand, unleashed a barrage of frustrations. She felt her voice drowned in the sea of adult decisions, her opinions brushed aside. In response, Christine and Richard actively listened, acknowledging Olivia's need for autonomy and involvement in the process. The family meeting transformed into a cathartic experience breaking down barriers and paving the way for healing. With newfound understanding, the family committed to navigating this uncharted territory together. Christine, Emily, Olivia, and Richard embarked on a journey of intentional bonding, discovering shared interests and building connections. Family outings became opportunities for laughter and genuine connection, erasing the shadows of doubt that had lingered in the corners of their hearts. As the weeks passed, subtle changes began to emerge. Emily, once reluctant, found solace in Richard's advice and support. The weight of grief lessened as she realized that accepting Richard did not mean abandoning her father's memory. Olivia, too, softened her stance, realizing that her voice was not lost but rather amplified within this new family structure. Richard's persistence and unwavering love became the catalyst for transformation. His genuine efforts to connect on a personal level, from helping with homework to sharing stories of his own teenage years, allowed the girls to see him not as an intruder, but as a partner in their collective journey. The house that was once divided became a sanctuary of unity, love, and understanding. Christine's unwavering determination and commitment to her family's well-being had triumphed over adversity. The journey from resistance to acceptance was a testament to the power of communication, empathy, and the resilience of the human spirit. The living room, once a battlefield of emotions, transformed into a haven of warmth and unity, symbolizing the strength of a family bound by love and the courage to embrace change. In the end, Christine, Emily, Olivia, and Richard discovered that family is not just about blood ties, but about the bonds forged through shared experiences, understanding, and the willingness to navigate the complexities of life together. Their story serves as a beacon of hope for others facing similar challenges, a reminder that love can indeed conquer all, even the most resistant hearts.